Hello everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today we're going to explore using numbers for the iPad. So the first thing you're going to do is tap on that green icon with the graph that will open the numbers application. From here, you can select your location either on my iPad here, I'm using iCloud Drive. From here, you have two ways to create a new spreadsheet. And that is, the first, to the right of where it says iCloud Drive, you can tap on that plus sign. That will take you to the template chooser. The second way is to tap on that icon with the plus in it that says create a spreadsheet. That will also take you to the template chooser. Now in the template chooser, you have several categories, six to be exact. The first is your recent. Any recent spreadsheet that you've worked on will appear here. And you can tap on that to activate that particular spreadsheet. Or you can scroll to each of the categories and select the spreadsheet that best fits your needs. Or another way is you can hit across the top where it says choose a template, tap on basic and we'll only show you the basic templates under that category. If you go back, personal finance will show you all of the templates under the personal finance section and so on and so forth. Personal, business, education and that's how you would get started. Now. From here, we're just going to take a blank, tapped on it. Now here, you can uh, do several things. First off, if you look at to the right-hand side of the column letters, you'll see two blue bars. Those, If you hold them down, you will be able to detract or add columns to fit your needs. The same is true at the bottom of the row. You'll see those two blue bars again. Hold that down, slide up or down, and you can expand or contract the rows to fit your needs. Notice that the sheet, it says sheet one. The table says table one. The file we opened is blank. So, Let's say we want to change the sheet name. If you double tap on sheet one, you'll see, and we'll call this, uh, we'll just call this data. Done. Now the sheet is now called data. Tap on the table twice, and now you can take out table one and put in a name. Detail. All right. So that's how you would change the sheet name and the table name. Now, you see that down arrow next to the word blank, which is our file name. If you touch on that, you have several options here. You can rename your file, you can save it, you can move it, you can set a password on a file if there's sensitive data in it, you may want to do that. The next item is hide comments. We won't be getting into that today, but maybe in a later video. You can export from here. The first thing we're going to want to do, though, is let's say we want to rename this. And we're instead of blank, we'll call this um, test one, just for lack of a better... Done. So now, when we leave this spreadsheet, it will automatically save it as test one instead of blank. All right. So, what do we want to do next? The first thing you're going to want to do is, what are those icons across the top? The first looks like a table icon. That's exactly what it is. You can choose from these various tables, different colors, but same basic designs and it will add that table. So if you tap on it, notice it put in another table. You can modify them as you see fit, just like we talked about before. If you want to do an undo, if you look over to the right, you'll see a circle with a back arrow. That is your undo. Tap on it, and it will remove 
the last thing you did. And if you keep tapping it, it will walk you back through the things that you've done in the past. The second icon is a pie graph. Touch on the pie graph. You have three different types of graphs that you can use. 2D, and if you swipe through, they're, again, they're different colors. Do the same functionality. 3D, and again, same functionality. Okay? Interactive, we'll get into those a little later. So that's where you would choose a graph for the data that you have put in your spreadsheet. The third one, the square and the circle, is images. They're your basic images that you can choose from and put into your spreadsheet. You have geometry, objects. Now to add something, all you do is just tap on it and it puts it in your spreadsheet and you can put it anywhere you want. Move it, the blue dots, size it, put it outside the spreadsheet. If it's something you wanted to refer to with the data, you could do it that way. And again, hit your back button. You see how it's moving it back to the different positions and sizes that I did. And you keep going back and it'll eventually take it away. The last icon that I want to go over right now is your photos and videos. You can insert a photo or a video from your photo application. You can go to the camera and take a picture. You can record an audio, a web video. All of these options are available to you. We're just going to put some data in here. So I'm going to double tap on that and down on the right hand side you'll see a keyboard. Tap on the keyboard, put in January, second column, FEB, and it'll keep it as February. Now, nice thing you can do here is tap on January, take that blue dot, bring it over to February, go to Cell Actions, and Auto Fill. Puts that nice orange bar around it, drag that over to the right, and it will automatically fill whatever it is you're, you've typed in. Down the right hand side, if you wanted categories, you could just put in whatever you wanted. Let's put in just a couple of things. Rent, uh, insurance. All right. Now, go tap into January, and now we're going to hit the keyboard again. Now, if you hit the one, two, three icon there, that puts you into this. Now, what's nice about this is you can put in your figures, and we're going to put $1,500, and then hit next. Notice it's going to drop down instead of over. Insurance, we're going to say $250. Uh, gas, that's uh, $80. Uh, food, $150. All right, in here, if you go to the top, and that blue dot, drag it down. Then we're going to go over to the paintbrush on the top. Click on it and tap on cell. This, if you want to bold it, you can change italicize, underline, the point size, so on and so forth. But what we want to do here is go to format and we want to do currency. And where it says decimals, it says auto. We're going to hit on the plus sign and put two decimals. And we're going to use the accounting style, which will put the dollar sign over on the left-hand side. There you go. If you go into cell B6, that next icon with the lightning bolt and the cell, you tap on that. Now, this is going to be things that you can do with that specific cell or range of cells. If you slide up a little bit, you see it says quick formulas. Tap sum. It put the, the formula for the sum of B2 through B5. If you double tap on that again, brings up your keyboard and notice it says sum B2 through B5. So you can do the quick formulas or you could type that in yourself, whichever you choose. 
let's just suppose this spreadsheet was done. Now, the icon, which is the share icon, if you tap on that, then you can, we want to look at export and send. Export and send gives you several formats that you can export it to. A PDF. You would use a PDF if you wanted to send this to someone and you did not want them to edit it or be able to edit it just to review it and get back to you on it. You can export it as an Excel format, a comma-separated variable format, and a tab-separated format. Or you can save it as a numbers template. If you save it as a numbers template, then in those categories we were talking about at the very beginning to choose a template from, you will have a new category called My Templates. That can be very important if you're designing something that you want to use over and over again for your business. Okay, so that's where I'm going to end it right now. Those are some of the basics, and then we'll pick up from here in another version. Thank you very much, and talk to you soon. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.